Okay, so what I'm about to show you guys right at the beginning of this video is nasty, okay? It's sick. It's disgusting. It's the forward group that the Canadians were rolling with towards the end of this season. Ah, uh, I know, I know. You're probably uh, puking up your goulash sandwiches into a trash can right now. Just rolling around in pain. But I had to show you guys this because I really wanted you to see just how badly the Canadians are lacking stars in their lineup. And don't kid yourselves. Because even when it's completely healthy, they're still lacking some serious talent up front, man. The Canadians need a star. They need a guy that's going to get 82 or more points a season. And this is why under no circumstances do I want to see them draft a defenseman this year with their fifth overall pick at the upcoming draft. Why? Because they don't need a defenseman. They are fine on the back end. Their lineup last season was full of promising rookie defensemen and these guys are only going to get better as they develop and gain experience. They also got Logan Mayu and a magician that likes to go by the name of Lane Hudson. And these guys have NHL potential. Then they got guys like Adam Engstrom that are turning heads. They even got a 20 year old guy named William Trudeau that everybody seems to forget about who just played 60 games with Laval last season and managed to put up 27 points. Guys, you know what I'm trying to say here. Ryan Backer He's going to be a good player. He's going to be a beauty. And this is not me saying that I don't like him. Not at all. Sandine Pelica as well. He's going to be a good player. My God, Craig Button has just gone cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs about him. But to take one of these guys with the fifth overall pick would just be a huge mistake in my opinion. Okay, it's a stretch. It's kind of like going to someone's house for a barbecue and turning down a juicy prime rib steak because you're, you're just going to have a slice of bread instead. No, oh, give me the steak. <laughs> and I got to say, I would be really confused if this is the route that Kent Hughes and the Canadians decide to take it to draft. I mean, we always see teams do one of two things. They either take the best player available or number two, they draft a certain position to fix a weakness in their lineup. You know what I mean? We've seen it before. And this year in particular, it doesn't really sound like picking a defenseman at number five ticks any of these boxes. Look at where these guys are ranked on EliteProspects.com. My God, they're all over the place. Gee. I mean, it's not like everybody has them in their top 10 or something. And again, I can't stress this enough. This doesn't mean that I don't think they're going to be any good. I think that they're going to be awesome, especially Reinbacher himself. But if it were up to me, I'd be taking the best forward available all day long. Now, the whole reason why I decided to make this video is because I was randomly looking at the athletics draft rankings recently. And while, uh, you know, Tate did a good job, I just didn't necessarily think that their first round picks for the Canadians made any sense at all. And it's completely fine to disagree. So, I mean, you can let me know what you think down in the comments section because maybe you think that Ryan Bakker is the best player available at number five. And if you do, I mean, that's fine. That's your opinion. Because at the end of the day, nobody truly knows what any of these players are going to amount to when they do take the next step into the NHL. But if I'm taking any gamble at all, I'm taking my chances on a forward, okay? Because the Habs, again, they need a star up front. Don't forget to cross check the like button before you leave here. And hey, I'll see you next time.